Okay, I, I think we should go past beyond this kind of uh, development. I, I listened to it and uh, I've also uh, had it also, but I think the onus is on the police authority to uh, find out whether such uh, a situation is developing under their uh, jurisdiction. And you know, once beaten, twice shy. Over the years, I have been a victim of trump up and fabricated charges spanning from terrorism to arson to murder to rape to financial crimes to uh, different all kind of criminal offenses I can uh, uh, imagine all have been at different times fabricated and fired against me by people who believe that my views are so strong for them to let go and they feel the only way is to frame you. You remember some few months and years ago, the, my, 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 my running battle with the state government in Imo where I was charged for bombing, I was charged for terrorism, I was charged for sedition, uh, criminal defamation, even to the point of seeking for an order from a magistrate court to restrain me from speaking. It means that whatever I say makes some people not to sleep well at night, but I don't care. I have fought that, I've had uh, uh, criminal defamation suit and charges amounting to over 10 billion, 5 billion fired by different people in different courts. But no, none of these things have deterred me from my campaign and agitation. Uh, the reason is that I can understand people who are very uncomfortable with my views in rivers. My views in rivers is not the first time. Even some years ago, uh, on the same issue of advancing democracy in rivers, I was also charged for, uh, 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 I think, treason or something by the Buhari regime, and I was in detention for almost six months. And uh, what I did was in defense of democracy. At that moment, that time, it benefited uh, uh, the likes of Anya uh, Sonwike. So at that moment, you see that they'll be so happy and proud. But when you say the one they don't like, now suddenly people don't like you, and so on and so forth. So it's not the first time um, uh, both real and imaginary threat of fabric uh, of Trump up charges being fired against me is coming up. But I will urge the police authorities, both at the FCT and the federal uh, police, not if there's any atom of truth in this uh, inter, they should stay away from it. First of all, I am not somebody that can be intimidated. If anybody likes today, what I'm saying in reverse is what I will say in any state in Nigeria, and I've said in different places. I said it to Buhari, I said it to all sorts of different presidents and governors at different times. I don't care how you feel about it as long as it's the right thing that I'm doing, as long as it will help in advancing constitutional governance. So all these charges does not move me because they're all fabricated, they're all baseless. Imagine you wake up somewhere, you charge somebody for murder when the person has never been involved in a fight all his life, and you, you charge somebody for rape. You go to prison, you bring somebody, and the person says, he raped me, somebody you have never met in your life. You get somebody, he charges you for gun running and bombing, where you have never seen a bomb or bombed any location. And, and it shows how our, our institution have decayed, because if institution that is entrusted with protection of life and property sees down with uh, nefarious pol uh, politicians and politicians of questionable character and fabricate criminal charges against it, it means that the institution is dead. Because you, you know you are entrusted with the responsibility to protect, and then these charges have been filed. I've had not less than 15 of these charges in the course of my career. Some have put me in detention. Some were able to fight through the court. So I, I won't wave it aside. It's something I want the police to because they know that I have gone through this kind of thing in their hands to the extent that uh, the third attempt to assassinate me was led by police officers. And up to now, the police authorities have not even done anything to, because it was on video. We gave them the video, but the police authorities t today have not decided to either parade them or find out what led them to carry out that attempt to assassinate me. So it shows how things has gone bad. So I believe that the new the Inspector General of Police should be different from the past Inspector Generals of Police that we have in the past. And those uh, CP should also know that there's an end. Like the man that was doing that stuff, whether in FCT and in Abuja in the past, some of them have retired. I used to see some of them looking, you know, because at times society and nature have a way of coming hard on you when you do things that are very unhealthy. So I want to call on police authorities to, to not to wave the intel aside that uh, our people have also uh, informed the public about to investigate it um, and then if there's people who are planning under the um, uh, police uh, department, whether in FCT or f federal police headquarters, to carry out such intention of politicians who are disgruntled and who are desperate to silence my voice at all costs to use mundane things and baseless and stupid charges of uh, terrorism, rape, 
gun running, murder, and, uh, and kidnap to frame me, that would be so, so stupid because it will not fly. Any attempt to frame or charge me with fabricated allegations like kidnap, like murder, like uh, terrorism, like gun running, like rape, like all those uh, you know, fabricated criminal charges, sedition, treason, that would be stupid. Nobody would believe it. And I will fight the person and I will fight anybody, including the institution that tries it with me. I am not that kind of person that you can bring such, you know, a baseless, heinous charge against. And I go to, no, even from the day you are doing that, your press conference, both of us may even die at the venue at the same time because I will not accept it for anybody who tries it with me. So I hope that this should be the, the imaginations and conjectures in the heads of people who does not know how to understand that people are supposed to behave decently in a democratic setting and there's a line and distinction between personal ambition and institutional, so institutional survivor. The issue of rivers is very simple. You cannot undermine constitutional governance. You cannot personalize governance. You cannot hijack a whole state institution in advancement of your personal agenda. Those lawmakers have lost their seat going by our constitutional provisions and they cannot continue to be sitting in a hideout in Emoha and once impeach a governor. I will never support that. If that is why some people are thinking, oh, the only way to silence Ikenga is, oh, let's go and find some criminal charges and frame him up. That person is being stupid because he's not going to work. You are not the first person. Some past presidents have tried it. Some governors have tried in the past. It doesn't, it doesn't shake me. I will fight through it because the public knows my antecedent in the last two, three decades of strong commitment as a soldier of democracy and rule of law, one that has maintained impeccable character and record in pursuit of democratic uh, uh, advancement uh, issues. So it's not something that uh, the public should be worried about. But I will advise that if anybody is thinking that I'm telling him eyeball to eyeball, back off because it will burn your hand, back off. You know, we, come to, so we have reduced institutions, we have reduced things to a level where people think that the only way they can, the nation state can move forward is to continue to hijack institutions of governance and debase it. That's how all our institutions are suffering because of those interference. These institutions are not strong because people are using them to advance, you know, selfish political interest that is temporary. Look at the last one, you know, people going to rally with the explosives. And thank God the explosive exploded and cut off the hand of, 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 the, of that idiot carrying it. So, but the point that why, why, why not channel that energy uh, people are holding meetings on how to frame Ikenga for murder, rape, and terrorism and use that energy to, 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 to find out who did that? Why can't they get those people and parade them by now? So that it will serve as a deterrent to other people who think that political dispute can be elevated to the level of uh, being a, a, a terrorist battle where lives will be lost. So I want to urge the police authority to look into it and not to wave it aside and then uh, if there is a credibility in it, find those people who are involved, no matter how highly placed. And also, if they approach you, stay away from that because it will backfire. And I can tell you that any attempt, and I will repeat, any attempt to frame me for trump up charges of, uh, and useless charges and stupid charges like murder, rape, uh, terrorism, kidnap, gun running, will backfire. It will fail. And the person that is doing this time around, I will fight the person till the day he will live this life. Because if people, if people do things wrong in institutions and people leave, then that's why people continue to repeat it. But when you try with somebody who will fight it to the day you get to your grave, you will not try it.